Hey guys, it's Core Ross and World 6 News. So today, Flores was given a pretty significant pre-release nerf on the test server for his explosive drone. So we'll quickly go through the patch notes for this change and then actually jump into the game and test the old version and the new version side by side. So the developers have changed the explosive radius of the drone. It is going down from 4 meters to 3 meters and its lethal range is going down from 2 to 1.5. And the developers say that this change is designed to make it so that you have to be more accurate with the drone and they're also saying that the radius has gone down by 25%, but because it's a sphere, it's actually reducing down by a total of 50 when it comes to the entire area that it damages. So let's actually jump into the game and see what visually this looks like and we can get a better idea of how it's going to affect gameplay. So we'll start with the gadget one first, which is of course, I think his primary role. I don't think he's for getting kills. I think he's mostly for destroying utility. And you know, he maybe can use it to flush people out and stuff, but I think the main thing this thing can do is just destroy a lot of utility especially when it can just drive right by Jaeger and Wamai's defenses. So when we've talking the destruction radius, we can see that the old version had a nice big radius, taking out a lot of gadgets and having no issues clearing out an entire area. You could probably very easily destroy three bandit batteries with one drone. But let's take a look at the new version and we can see that the blast radius has gone down significantly. This is a big difference. And if you look at them side by side, that's huge. So yeah, he's still going to be good for taking out utility, but you're going to have to definitely be more accurate with it. And overall, he was going to be a major competitor for Thatcher, I thought. But now he's still going to be good at that role. But like a Kaid battery, for instance, it's on the top of a roof. He might have a hard time actually getting a drone up there to take it out now. Now let's move on to its anti-personnel capabilities. So at a four meter distance in the old version, a two armor would go down to about 45 health. So pretty good chunk of health being taken off there. Now if that was closed down to three meters, it was an insta kill. But even at that range, it was very, very hard to kill anyone with it because of the timer and on-screen warning. Now, if we move over to the new version and we detonate this drone at again, four meters from the player, you will go down to 86 health. So instead of losing a big chunk of health, it's a relatively small one compared to what it used to be. Now, if you get down into the three meter range, you're actually gonna survive with 13 health. And at this range, you are very, very close to the drone. If of course this was a nitro cell, you would be dead. And that's how the old drone actually worked. It basically was just a nitro cell on wheels, whereas now it has been made kind of unique by making it worse than a nitro cell, but say better than an impact grenade. Now I also went and tested the destruction capability when it came to making holes in soft walls with this gadget. I was kind of expecting maybe the hole would actually become smaller, but it's exactly the same. Now, the variation in the hole, of course, is different every time, but the actual hole looks to be exactly the same size as it was previously. So if you wanted to use this guy for just making rotations around the map, he's still perfectly good for that. But anyway, that brings us to the conclusion, and that is that his utility gadget destruction has gone down significantly, and also that killing or damaging players is almost going to be completely impossible now it was already super hard before it is now going to be literally impossible to kill a player they are going to have to be afk for you to get a kill with it or you know injured by one of your friendlies but anyway guys let me know what you think in the comments below because my kind of feeling about flores is that he's not really that powerful and now he's a little bit less powerful, he's still gonna be useful for that gadget destruction, so maybe a bit of a competitor to Thatcher, but maybe that's all he's going to be now, and really there's not gonna be a kind of secondary use for him. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll catch you next time.